Recently I was practicing sketching dragons here in my sketchbook. And today I'm gonna draw one with a dip pen and black ink. I also sketch things that I use for bigger drawings, like this one. Definitely check out the video on that one. I also draw with a fountain pen there. I also drew those big Japanese style dragon heads. I'm really proud on how clean the lines turned out. Today I'm gonna use a dip pen and black ink to draw a big dragon in this watercolor pad. But first I'm gonna do a basic pencil sketch, remembering to keep it organic. I did a drawing in the past um, of like a similar style that I wanted to achieve and that was not organic at all. It wasn't supposed to be organic in the first place that much, but it really makes a different difference when you keep that in mind. And I remember to always do big um, swirls out of my, uh, mainly out of my shoulder, uh, not as much out of my wrist, and then getting more and more precise with the lines as I sort of boil it, that, boil it down to the um, shape that, uh, that I'm gonna keep. And keep it big, keep it organic, keep it flowing, and you can always r erase things that you don't need, and then boil it down more and more to the finished shape. After I have the basic shape of the body, I focus on the head of the dragon, as this is gonna be the main focal point. I was kinda torn between doing a classic um, Japanese dragon, um, and if I should give him those, uh, what do you call him, those whiskers and some bushy eyebrows and uh, like a beard and whatever. Um, but I tried to keep it a little bit more, especially with the ears and the, and the horns that are not very traditional Japanese-like. And the whole concept of the head, a little bit more European and not like a straight out, or not straight out like a, something you would see on a woodblock print on a Japanese woodblock print. Uh, and keep it a little bit more medieval European fantasy dragon style, if you know what I mean. And I gave him some smoke coming out of his nostrils and out of his mouth. And I have him generally surrounded by this um, smoke or just some um, ghostly fog or whatever, uh, just to not have this naked uh, form shape of the dragon here in the foreground and give it some variety, some line variety of lines going in different directions and different thickness of lines. And to generally make the whole composition, the whole image more interesting. I did a video where I show how I draw smoke like this, how I practice it in my sketchbook. Um, a little tutorial style video. Uh, it's all linked in the upper right corner or just check it out on my channel. Good, now it's time to take out this beautiful glass dip pen that I purchased in Venice, Austria, um, sorry, Italy of course now. Uh, um, I, I, I bought it like six years ago and I never used it so far. So finally I have uh, an opportunity to use it. Uh, it's beautiful, I love the blue twisted glass. 
and it's really awesome to hold it in in the hand it has a nice weight to it and it's fun to draw with the only thing i never liked about dip pens is of course that you have to repeatedly dip them um and, uh, and it's so annoying when you're drawing with it and then it's running out of ink and you have to re-dip it um but it's still a nice process and it's i think i will do it more often in the future i'm using this black ink by pelican which is like a really really deep black ink and you really notice the difference um, when you're drawing with I'm, I'm used to drawing with ballpoint pen and having some really dark black ink like from pelican in your ink cartridges in your fountain pen or using it for your dip pen it really makes a big difference and it's uh, it's very visible you you notice it and plus i really like the smell of this of this ink like ink has a very especially the black one with the black pigment has a very distinct smell to it and i i'm a big fan of that it gets me in the in the in the in the flow of of drawing my things oh yeah and i want to say right away um i want to apologize in advance if i'm not able to upload a lot of videos in the coming weeks or at least not as consistently as i have done the last few months um i try to keep it to at least one video per week uh, or at least one short video or um you know usually releasing a longer video on sunday but currently i'm uh, at school for a semester and the school is a little bit more um far away and i have to uh, sleep at a boarding house which uh, i don't like at all but well what you gonna do and so I don't have, obviously I don't have <laughs> all my things there, my equipment there, my and I don't have time to draw, and I don't want to draw there. I don't get in the in the mood um, drawing at school really. So yeah, I'm sorry if if I have to st stick to like a video every two weeks or maybe three weeks, but I try to keep it up. I try to keep um, drawing as much during the week and on the weekends as I can when I get the opportunity to come home. But if I do some shorter drawings, you can check out my Instagram. If I do some small stuff here and there, I might post it on Instagram. Um, stuff that I don't dedicate a whole video to. And after I was done tracing everything that I wanted to keep and creating some line variety, the thickness of the lines, different thicknesses, I took a little bit of the ink and diluted it with water. And using a brush, I tried to create some sort of background to have the drawing, drawing stand out a little bit more. And I also tried to create some shading with it, um, uh, making it look a little bit more three-dimensional. I don't know about that, honestly, I don't know how well that turned out in the end. In the end, I think I should have just kept it as the background, but yeah, I mean, you learn from just trying out things and seeing how you like it in the end. So, yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give me the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I hope I'll see you around on the channel, okay? Thank you so much and take care. Bye-bye.